The model ahead, they're going to rank all the Devil Breakers and Devil May Cry 5 with damage, moveset, combo, survival, breakage and overall fun between 1 and 5, making a grand total. Without further ado, let's begin. 12. Sweet Surrender Sweet Surrender is not very combat focused, but is useful in Dante Must Die mode as good for healing and quick bursts. But the uh, standard move is quite bad because you have to be fighting for a long time to get any use out of it. So it ranks quite low on the list. But the Mega Buster. The Mega Buster is um, quite a bad ranged weapon. It does very little damage and very little stun. The charge shot's good because it pisses, but it launches your enemy too far away to be any useful in combos. And the jumping and the sliding is hilarious, but not good in combat. 10. The Pasta Breaker. The Pasta Breaker is basically a worse helter skelter and punch line, but it does have these advantages. And its breakage move actually breaks your arm, so you can use another arm's ability as the enemy is suspended in air. But besides that, it's not really that useful. Nine, Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter is a lot of fun, but the thing is, it's a uh, very limited in what it can do. You drill and um. You, you, you drill. Yeah, there's not really much else to it. You can um, use your little uh, punchy arm in it, use a knuckle, as well as you can use the breakage move to launch people high in the air and do some combos. Same with uh, monkey business. It's an exact same thing. It does the same amount of damage. I'll leave a link to my old video if you want more information on it. So yeah, it ranks in the exact same place. Rawhide. Rawhide is a whip-like weapon, so you can hit a lot of enemies around you, so it's good in crowds, but combo C works just as well. The breakage move does quite a lot of damage, for what it is, as well as hits everyone around you, but against larger foes it's quite useless. So it's only good on the small fry. Seven, Overture. Overture, the standard Devil Breaker, is um, really good. There's a lot of damage, there's a bit of everything, has a launcher from, on the uh, grounded enemies and the enemies in the air, and pushes enemies away, which is overall really good. And the explosion on the breakage works really well with Charge Shot to get a triple explosion. It's just uh, a good time, to say the least. Number 6, Buster. If you want to kill something, use Buster. It does loads of damage, especially on the breakage move, which can't even be interrupted. Now, if you stack that with Devil Trigger, Knuckle, and the Summon Swords from the shots and Devil Trigger, then you can do loads and loads of damage. It doesn't do much in combos, except in the air, but it's a good combo ender. Five, Gerbera. If you want a weapon that uh, allows you to move a lot, gets your combos much more stylish, and just overall have a good time, use this. And it has two breakage moves. One that's a uh, small lasers that bounce up walls, and a giant laser that keeps your enemy suspended. But overall, just a great weapon. Number four, Tomboy. Tomboy is a weapon if you want variety. It has so many combos in it, it's basically an entirely new moveset 
with high damage with the lack of lock on. The disadvantage is the breakage move is really bad. Basically, you can get hit and it won't break, which is dumb because it's going to break later anyway. Uh, the weapon, though, is really good. Like, if you want to hit someone hard, use this arm. If you want to look cool, use this arm. The shots can be a bit disorientating because you don't get airtime with them compared to the actual guns. Three, Ragtime. Ragtime is an arm that you use to do lots of damage and not get hit whilst doing so. For example, you can form Showdown in this, which is uh, probably the most reliable way to use it, which is a good way to get damage output if you can't actually use like a Buster Arm, for example. As well as, afterwards you're going to choose a Buster Arm. So overall, you can do shit sometimes of damage. 2. Gerber GP01. This is basically Gerber, but you can go up and down, which allows you to reset your combos and just like stylish in general. For example, you can go down to do combos, hit enemy on the ground, or you need to avoid something, so overall it's good for survival and combat. Number 1. Punchline. Punchline is the arm you use if you don't want to get hit, and be stylish, and do lots of damage. Pretty much, what you can do is keep an enemy suspended in air, allowing you to combo them for ages. As well as, you can use it as a skateboard to hit enemies with, to hit them in the air, to keep them up in the air, to combo them in the air, to launch them back down, to hit them again. As well as the breakage move is a sure you can, and the other one is just where you shoot your arm downwards. Which allows you to combo into each other, so overall, just purely amazing. And that's why Punchline is my number one. Come on. I hope you all enjoy and uh, leave your list in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Later.